Hello to all. I had to pop on a minute and share a story of something that happened the other night. Um, a few minutes before midnight, before my birthday. Uh, my birthday was on June 14th. Well, that was only yesterday. <laughs> An amazing thing happened. I've never seen this before in my entire life and I had to share it. Um, you know how we've been talking about how many souls are exiting and um, leaving the planet and there are so many different things going on. Um, you've also, if you've listened to any of my other videos, you've also heard how in bizarre ways I end up in these certain locations, like the time in October when it was freezing and snowing and I didn't have a place to stay. So I ended up having to go to this mountain range and camp out. And, um, of course it turns out that it was just on a specific ley line that I needed to be on very much like the, the last few weeks for me. So I end up in these scenarios. I don't know why I'm here. I just go where I'm supposed to go and work through what needs to happen. And, um, the energies have been very, very, very strong. So I've, I've been feeling them like many of you and, um, about, like I said, it was a little while before midnight. Um, I was feeling antsy. I was actually already in bed. I had some ridiculous TV show on. And um, earlier that day, just a few hours earlier, I had learned that I happened to be in a specific mountain range. <laughs> I didn't know I was in that mountain range. And that mountain range connects up to supposedly a very large mystical mystery school, one where they train in magic. Now, remember, there can be good magic, white magic, black magic. Um, it's all a matter of understanding. And this one appears to be more on the positive end. So I was like, wow, that's so strange. I wonder how come... I wonder how come I'm here in this location, of which I'm very grateful to be here for at least a few more days. And um, so, like I said, though, the energies were really, really strong and they were building up and and something made me get out of bed. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to step outside. There's a little deck and I'm just going to look out. And I noticed the one little ship that comes with me pretty much everywhere I go, which sounds crazy. But if you talk to the universe, it will talk back to you. And there's this one specific ship that I joke, I'll go out or I'll send energy and I call it the happy dance. Simply just, you know, like you're bubbling and you're happy and you're sending love to the universe. And of course, it only takes a few seconds and that one star or ship will start to move and it's visible. Anybody could see it. It is visible. It starts to move up and then it starts to move down and it starts to move around a little bit. And um, so it was there and I was like, oh, thank you. You're kind of wishing me happy birthday. Um, because again, you know, if you've walked away from everything and everyone, then everybody's going through these holidays and these big moments and you are balancing how to handle all of the transition times. And I have no problem doing things on my own and being available to, to others. It's just a calling. Um, but every now and then I'm like, hmm, wouldn't it be nice? So I was feeling, again, the energy and just a little weird. And so I go out, I see the little happy dance, and I'm like, oh, okay, my life is complete. And then poof. All right. I don't even know how to describe it. What I look out on are a mountain range. It's more like green trees that are rolling versus what you might think of the Swiss Alps pointed. So my little green picture is more pointed. The, the trees are more rounded. And all of a sudden on a 45 degree angle, huge is a beam of light. And I can literally see souls and bubbles 
I mean, when I say bubbles, I'm not talking little bubbles. I'm talking like body bubbles, huge. And remember, this is far enough away from me that that's how bright it is. Literally being sucked from the mountain, mountainous region, up and out into nothing because it's been very dark and gloomy and overcast. There haven't been... Um, there haven't been a lot of stars mostly and there were great thunderstorms yesterday. So I did not see a UFO. It was not a light that was straight up and down. It was definitely a light on a 45 degree angle and you could literally see souls flying from the mountain. Some of them were very human like all the way into this nothing like and when I say bubbles again, like the size of humans, but remember how large they must be because of being so far away. And I realized, of course, that that was so many of the entities that needed to be released who are being brought off planet. But I also am aware of the fact that there was a period of time, and I'm not sure exactly when this was, where the various star systems were coming down and clearing up and cleaning energy and taking soul fragments and pieces, even, I guess, from what I understand, leftover um, body parts and, and other things. Um, and they were taking them back to their home, home planets for whatever process they go through. So it's happening, everyone. Keep your eyes on the skies. Realize if I saw it, you can see it. It was astounding. It lasted for a couple of minutes, not long enough for me to turn around and try to grab my phone. And again, you know, I have old equipment, so I'm not sure that I would have been able to get it, but it was astronomical. And I have ne I never ever expected a in my entire life to see anything like that or b to be brave enough and crazy enough to share it so i love you all i hope you're having a wonderful day take care love you